We're going to be manual muscle testing pectoralis major. So for pectoralis major, there's going to be three separate manual muscle tests and then three length positions. So I'm going to be testing each head independently. We're going to be testing the clavicular head, the sternal head, as well as the abdominal head. So I'm going to show my partner the actions for each head. So our clavicular head, flexion and adduction and medial rotation, often bringing that bicep really close up towards their face as a big pointer. The secondary action is going to be a straight horizontal adduction, bringing the arm straight across the body here. So that'd be for our sternal head. And the final action with the arm up above, it's going to do medial rotation, adduction, and extension from a flexed position. So from here, straight across the body, like so. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is individually go through each one at a time. So let's start off with your clavicular head. Good. Now we're going to bring him to that 90 degrees and bring his arm across his body. Good. And finally, starting with the arm up, he's going to bring it down and across his body. So we have the active range of motion for all three heads, and now I'm going to be going through the break test of each head individually. So we're going to bring him part way up. I'm going to be gripping on the humerus, not so much on the forearm. And if you need to, you may have to, in this case, stand up and reach across without putting your forearm on their face, but try to resist the opposite shoulder so they don't turn. The other option, Again, is to switch hands and reach across from this direction. Either one is okay. And again, just encourage your person to try to go through this movement as you pull against it. And go ahead for five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna go ahead and do the concentric at the same time because we've already shown them that action. So from here, please bring this up all the way through that action. Good and make sure your hand is not going into their face at the end of that action. Next, we're gonna go into the sternal. So again, bring his arm up approximately to 90 degrees of flexion, same procedure. I'm gonna either reach across from the top or below, as long as your forearm is not making contact with their face or neck. He's gonna hold that position. Five, four, three, two, one. Starting from our beginning position, go ahead and bring your arm across your body. Excellent. And lastly, we're going to be going through this position. So I'm going to be switching my angle a little bit. I'm going to be standing, pulling his arm up. If you cannot reach their opposite hip, that's okay. But don't go putting pressure directly down on the muscle. And we usually don't push on the abdomen. Again, for myself, I'm going to switch hands, and then I'm able to resist opposite hip. Five, four, three, two, one. Starting with the arm up above the head, and bring your arm all the way down through that motion against resistance. Good. So that concludes the manual muscle test part. We're just going to finish now with a length assessment. For the length assessment, we're going to be lengthening all three heads out, just like we tested all three heads, but I need to do some horizontal abduction. So for that, I'm going to have my person slide over to the edge of the table. And what we're looking for is the spinal humeral joint to no longer be on the table. So similarly, I'm going to lengthen all three heads out in that same order. So for this clavicular head, I'm going to externally rotate his spinal humeral joint, then I'm going to extend and a little bit of horizontal abduction. Please make sure that this could be a little bit sensitive to front of the spinal humeral joint. So if they've had a history of dislocation in this area, take caution before you put too much pressure. So again, bringing not so much mattering what's going on at the elbow, but more what's happening with the spinal humeral joint. So there's our clavicular head. I'm gonna bring the humerus up to that 90 degrees. So now we're lengthening this sternal head. Again, I'm in an externally rotated position and I'm gonna go into horizontal abduction. And finally, 
the most compromising position for the glenohumeral joint. So again, take care when we bring his arm up into that flex position, external rotation and some abduction, trying to lengthen out this fiber here. So again, go ahead and push down, but don't force it. We're just looking for that end length when the muscle has tension across it. Again, you can head ahead and move back to the center of the table. And that's going to conclude the length portion for pectoralis major.